Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Norman Yu. I'm the site leader here at ORD4, which is located in Moni, Illinois, which is a small town about 35 miles south of Chicago. ORD4 is a make-on-demand building. MOD is a fast-growing business for Amazon. There are six MOD sites in North America, and we have two more launching just this year in 2021. Now, obviously, we've been printing books for centuries. What's unique and different about MOD is we are truly make on demand. So the moment that a customer clicks purchase on Amazon.com, that book order is gonna drop into our printers and begin the process. Let's go ahead and take a look at our printing process now. With any manufacturing process, we start with raw materials. And here, it's no different. So in terms of a book, we have paper. We also have plenty of ink and toner that we use to manufacture a book. Now the start of our process begins with printing. We have two primary methods of printing a book uh, within MOD. The first is what we call an inkjet. And this inkjet is pretty much what you would consider to be a, a modern printing press. Let's take a look. So here you see we have ink that's been applied to our web of paper. It's going to continue on to the next print tower. Okay, we're gonna print on the other side. So this is a rather complex piece of equipment. We have five ink jets on our site, and it really is the workhorse of making a book. So here we have the top continuing on where the pages are actually getting folded together. How come stack the books? Now this is not one book. There's actually several books in there that get stacked together. And whenever the D-stacker scans the barcode, it's gonna know what to D-stack. So as the books come down the finalized line, we have an operator that scans the book, puts them into a tote, and then they're gonna continue on down the process. Now the second type of printing that we do is what we call cut sheet. We have these large printers that pretty much print books. Um, I like to call it Kinko's on steroids. So essentially these are the type of printers you would see at Kinko's or FedEx. So you see here that we have different types of paper. We have off-white paper and white paper. And the book block comes out, notice, prints two pages for one sheet of paper. This was a change that the MOD network did uh, few years back and we realized that we could save quite a bit of money and also help with the green initiative and sustainability by printing two pages on one sheet of paper. So we have a large fleet of printers. You'll notice that we have quite a bit. This is just one side of our building. And these printers require a lot of maintenance. So we have folks like Devo here that do our L2 maintenance to maintain these printers in partnership with our vendors, Canon, to make sure that these printers are producing quality products, quality books for our customers. So once those book blocks come out of the cut sheet printers, the printer operator is gonna stack them in five for order on this part. And the next step of the process is gonna be what we call Titan cutting. Now Titan is a machine that is essentially gonna cut this book in half, and then we're gonna fold it and send it on to the next process. Let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. So we have Miss Brenda here who's on a Titan and she's cutting the books. She's gonna scan the barcode and then place them into the tote. So now the totes have made their way over to what we call lamination. We have printers over here that are just like our color printers. These are actually gonna print off the covers themselves. Let's go take a look at that. So after the covers print, they're gonna come out looking like this. Now I mentioned earlier when we had the Titan that we had blue and black. This is gonna correspond with the type of lamination film that is gonna be applied to the cover. Blue is gonna be a matte finish, and then black is gonna be glossy. This you see right here is our laminator. So the covers are placed in the magazine, and then the lamination film is actually gonna be heated on to the cover. Oh, 
quality and the forefronts and everything, we have test covers that we use to make sure that the lamination doesn't have any defects before we put a live cover in. So once the covers are laminated, the next step is to actually take the cover and put it in with the tote with your book. So the operator here is making sure that there's no defects on the cover. And then once there's a full stack there ready to go, they're going to grab the cover and they're going to go sport them into the tote. And now we're going to go find the tote and put the covers in there. I'm looking for tote 1850. There it is. I'm going to place the covers in with the books and then we're going to send the tote down the line to continue on with the process. So here we are at Burial Binding. This is where the magic actually happens. So Cheryl here is loading the covers into the Burial cover magazine. And this is the process step where the book book and the cover are gonna to come together and we're gonna actually see the book start to form. the book leaves the barrio, it's going to come down the line, and then now is where we're first starting to see the book form. You'll notice that the book block that we had earlier, this actually is an inkjet book, is glued to our cover. So now, the next step in our process is for the book block to continue on, and they're going to enter these machines over here, which are trimmers, and they're going to cut the book down the side. Alright, so here we are at the trimmers. So the books are entering from the barrio to the trimmer. You know, quite a lot going on here. It's almost like something out of a Transformers movie. And this machine's only job is to cut paper. It can do up to 2,000 books an hour. And then, as you see here, the books are coming down the line. And they're cut down to size. So here we have a finished book. And you'll notice that Every book is unique coming down the line. We have novels, we have coloring books, we have textbooks. So it truly is make on demand. So once the books are trimmed, they come down to finalize. So here is our last step of our process, the final inspection. So the associate is going to spend about 9 to 12 seconds per book doing a six-sided check to make sure that it's a defect-free book. Once it's good, we're going to scan it place it to a yellow tote and then we're going to send the tote over to the dock. Everything we make has an order placed to it so we don't hold any inventory in our building. So everything that's finalized is going to be sent over to NDW7 which is our sister site and they're going to stow the books to be sent out later for the customers. I hope you guys enjoyed this virtual tour of ORD4. I really enjoyed showing you all the great stuff that's happening in this building, and I look forward to learning more about your sites.